We take a question now from CNNPolitics.com. You can see it up on the screen here. Since birth control is the latest hot topic, which candidate believes in birth control, and if not, why? <laughs> As you can see, it's a, it's a, it's a very popular question. It's you a have. very popular question in the audience, as we can see. Look, we're not going to spend a ton of time on this, but it is. Please. Can I just make a point? Sure. The, the, these, just, these guys are giving uh, you some feedback here, that. John. I see that. I, I, think, no. I think they're making it very clear. No, I, I think, look, I, I think this, I'm going to make two quick points, John. The first is there is a legitimate question about the power of the government to impose on religion activities which any religion opposes. That, that's legitimate. There is. But I just want to point out, you did not once in the 2008 campaign, not once did anybody in the elite media ask why Barack Obama voted in favor of legalizing infanticide. Okay? So let's be clear here. If, if we're going to have a debate about who the extremist is on these issues, it is President Obama who as a state senator voted to protect doctors who killed babies who survived the abortion. It is not the Republicans. But, what's, what's happening? John, what's, what's happened, and, and you recall back in the, uh, the debate that we had George Stephanopoulos talking all about birth control, we wondered why in the world and contraception, and what's like, why, why is he going there? Well, we found out when Barack Obama continued his attack on religious conscience. I don't think we've seen in the history of this country the kind of attack on religious conscience, religious freedom, religious tolerance that we've seen in a Barack Obama. Most recently, of course... <laughs> most, most, most recently, requiring the Catholic Church to provide for its employees and its various enterprises uh, uh, health care uh, insurance that would include birth control, sterilization, and the morning after pill. Unbelievable. And he tried to retreat from that, but he retreated in a way that was not appropriate because these insurance companies now have to provide these same things, and obviously the Catholic Church will end up paying for them. But don't forget the decision just before this, where he said the government, not a church, but the government should have the right to determine who a church's ministers are for the purposes of, uh, of uh, determining whether they're, they're exempt from EEOC or from, uh, from workforce laws or labor laws. He said the government should make that choice. That went all the way to the Supreme Court. There are a few liberals on the Supreme Court. They voted 9-0 against President Obama. He, his, his position... Uh, okay. right. So let's... let's his, his position... His, his position on, on religious tolerance, on religious uh, uh, conscience, is clear. And it's one of the reasons the people in this country are saying we want to have a president who will stand up and fight for the rights under our Constitution, our first right, which is for freedom of religion.